Hello there, Rodeo Ranger here. Uh, I use a Rat 7 uh, Mad Cat's mouse I have for years, ever since the company first came out. I just think it's the best mouse ever made. Uh, yeah, I get it. It's 6400 uh, DPI max, but you know what? When you're gaming, it doesn't matter whether you're playing uh, Rainbow Six Siege or Battlefield 4 or Battlefield 5 coming out soon. You don't want to have your mouse uh, any higher DPI than 1600 max anyway. Uh, if you find that low, a little bit low in the game, turn it up in the game. But the actual DPI, 1600 is, is max what, uh, what I would use. Now, a lot of people have been complaining and posting, yeah, Mad Cats went out of business, now they're back. They have a new company, it's called the same thing, Mad Cats. One catch, they're not supporting any of their old products, so we're on our own. Uh, but here's the good news. Uh, your Mad Cat's Rat 7 mouse like I have, it won't work uh, when you do a clean Windows install if your motherboard has secure boot uh, UEFI. Uh, so make sure, for instance, I have my motherboard is actually um, a, an Asus. Uh, just one sec. Excuse my back. It's an M5A99FX. Pro R2.0 uh, and uh, so what you have to do is uh, the mouse uh, is not going to work in uh, since the Windows 10 uh, Fall Creators update if uh, your secure boot is enabled so when you go into your BIOS uh, you'll have an option there uh, Windows or other operating system just choose other operating system boot your system as normal and your RAT7 mouse will work. Um, uh, mine is here. Uh, it's working beautiful again. It took me a long time to figure this out because it's something I was unaware of that was in the bias of many computers now is uh, this secure boot mode. Um, and uh, Windows 10 uh, does not let you, allow you to uh, disable driver verification there are some commands you can put in uh, in the command prompt if you run as administrator, but it's going to give you a, a, an error saying that it's protected uh, under Windows. So uh, that's how you solve your Mad Cat's mouse from not working. Uh, the latest driver, I believe, I'm going to pull it up here. Um, yeah, the latest driver for the... Uh, the Mad Cat's mouse, my Rat 7, is underscore 7 underscore 0 underscore 60 underscore 6 underscore x64. Now that's for the 64 bit Windows operating system. And your software should be uh, underscore 7 underscore 0 underscore 45 underscore 2 underscore x64. That's for the software. Uh, once uh, what's going to happen is if you try installing that software or that driver, you're going to get the little yellow triangle in Device Manager, and the mouse is not going to work. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I would imagine that that's happening with uh, all the older RAT products, RAT 3, the RAT 7, uh, RAT 9, and so on, because the new Mad Cats company has come out with a whole new lineup of, of mice, and I, I contacted them, and they said they, they have nothing to do with the old products, they're not gonna support them. There will be no more new drivers. So we're kind of left alone when it comes to that. Uh, but yeah, that'll get it working for you. Just disable secure boot in your, uh, in your BIOS uh, and uh, you're good to go. I hope that helps a lot of people out. I've seen a lot of uh, posts and stuff about it. And uh, so I just decided I was gonna, I, I went for a month without my Mad Cat's uh, Rat 7 mouse working. I bought a Steel Series uh, Rival 600, and uh, man, I, I just couldn't play with that sucker. I didn't like the the way it felt in my hand, it, even with all the weights. It's it's really light, and uh, yeah, I get it. It's got True Fire technology, whatever the hell that is. Uh, you know, that's not the problem of aiming with it. It just it's just the way it feels in your hand. It's light. Uh, and uh, I just personally, I prefer my Rat 7. 
I think it's the best mouse ever made. Um, the last one I had, it lasted me for six, or sorry, about four years. And then this is the second one, and I've had this one about a year, and uh, I can't play with anything else. And uh, I play all kinds of games, you know, and I do all kinds of video editing and stuff. And once your hand uh, is used to it, you know, what other mouse do you, do you know of? You can adjust the width for your thumb where your thumb goes. You can move that in and out. Uh, as you can see right here, you can actually move this part out or in. You can adjust the width. You've got, um, let me get this name properly. You've got a controller here for your fine aiming. Uh, you know, the wheel isn't in the way. You're not going to switch weapons by mistake like in the, with a lot of mice. Uh, they don't make this mouse anymore. And uh, the thing is, yeah, the new mice, they have a higher DPI, 12,000. You'll never, you, you should be, shouldn't be using that anyway. So um, I hope that helps a lot of people. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go online now and I'm going to buy me another one of these just to make sure I have one into the future. And that's my video.